If a freehold OnePlus study is what you seek, from the price point of just one meal starting from in District 13 Bradle. And I think you want to join us for this week's home tour inside eMason. So let's go around the condo a little bit first before we head up and let me give you a little bit more about this project. Developed by Global Stars Development, this project completed in the year 2016. With 130 units, the tenure is freehold and it sits on a land size of 6,040 square meters with a gross floor area of 11,900 square meters. The plot ratio is 2 and the residential unit's maximum height is the 5th storey. So it also comes with full condo facilities like a swimming pool, aerobic pool, gym, BBQ, function room and jacuzzi. So I thought I'd just show you around the surrounding of the estate first and there's a beautiful side gate access here that takes us out. Let's check it out. So through this gate, I want to show you the access over here and you're coming right onto Braddle Road. So this is Braddle Road. If you're, you're looking right across, there's Woodleigh Park. That's the arena over here. And as you follow me, you'll see that you have the cage over there. So if you're a big football fan, uh, then you know they have a lot of soccer matches over in that area. And we are at the intersection of Daisy Road. And if you can look afar, there's actually an overhead bridge and the bus stops are just right over there. That's your closest bus stop if you need accessibility. Welcome to the unit, guys. While we're out here in the balcony, let's go through the floor plan to give you a better understanding of the unit. So the unit size is 667 square feet. It's a one bedroom plus study and comes with one bath. So through the front door, you're going to come into the open kitchen. Then there's the dining, living, balcony, and there's also a study and the master comes complete with a master bathroom. So let's start with a little bit of orientation. So this unit's balcony faces up into the south facing. So we're directly looking down into the next condominium's lapping pool over here. There's a little bit of green, there's no one right in front of you. There's a little bit of an air well going here, so it's nice and private if you check out. This is a long balcony over here. Our owners have decked it up with a little bit of grass. Then you've also got, you know, the blinds going overhead for a little bit of shade. And that's very nice as soon as you come into the um, the living room over here. I'm just going to shut this door because I want to show you the detailing of you know, the sliding doors over here. So it's not your typical full glass panel. Uh, you basically got you know, segments over here which is very nice. And then in this beautiful living room over here, you can already see that our owners have put in a little bit of renovations. So this is more than 100k of renovations that have gone in, so they've detailed the brick walls over here. So you've got a nice feature wall going over here with a TV console built-in and then huge space coming in uh, into the living room. So this L sofa has a very nice distance towards the TV over here. So you can even have guests around here if you're placing chairs right by the side over here. Then let's go into um, the dining space and the dining space fits a four-seater right now they've put in chandelier overhead and you've got a nice ceiling going approximately three meters plus minus now you also have a demarcation over here that they specifically build in and I want to show you the kitchen so this is uh, the original kitchen so you've got quartz countertops on this side, you've got carpentry going across and it gives you a fridge space over here. So you can just mimic the way our owners are using the space right now, which is put in a microwave, rice cooker over here and then all this carpentry for you to put in your dry goods and again beautiful quartz going across. So this work counter desk is actually very quality finishing and material. Then you've got black towel backsplash over here across the contrast of white carpentry and then you've got walnut below and the Electrolux oven over here. So if you're really into cooking, then this is actually a fully equipped kitchen for you. Then just check out the door. This is the main door and the facing is north. So if you open this up, you've got a north-south breeze coming through, which is very nice. And just look at the detailing. This is actually a very beautiful, high quality uh, timber door, which is in a dark shade. So I, I like it very much. 
Again, the consistency over here of the wall, uh, brick wall kind of runs through this area. So this was supposed to be like a study room, um, but let's go inside. Our owners have encased the whole thing with glass. Check out the doorknobs. The doorknobs are really interesting. You got crystal like doorknobs over here. So this is a full on study, but our owners have kind of turned it into another walk-in wardrobe or display space for the missus where she can put all her bags where you've got shelvings over here then you've got you no know, sideboards and a display counter so but this is really a good study space if you want to use it for an office let's go into the bedroom in this bedroom you'll find that you have enough space for a huge queen size bed and this is one with storage by the way and then this is the original storage that was built in by the developers over here two door which is probably not enough so what the owners did here was they built in additional storage on this side and created a dresser over here for the missus and if you close this thing up you'll find that Still, there is an additional room over here, but this is originally a outdoor balcony exit, right? But what the owners did was they enclosed the space and built in even more wardrobe space for the missus. It's magnificent. Then, of course, you've got blinds built in over here. To shade you when you want to rest on the weekends. And of course, the ensuite bathroom. So if you've been enjoying this home tour so far, then smash the like button and consider subscribing to our channel and we'll keep bringing you more beautiful homes just like this. And let's go to who this is likely for. So if you're a upgrader or a fresh uh, couple that has just gotten married and you're looking for your private space in a very unique development which is low density and if you're thinking that a fully renovated unit and a nice uh, finishing in terms of quality materials used is a must for you then for the price point of just starting from 1 million which is $1,499 per square feet in Braddell this is a freehold development. I think this could be something that you want to consider. So now let's go into the financial aspect of this thing and look at the investment angle. So let's first look within the project and compare the project range. So the historical high is $1,517 per square feet in April 2013 for a 904 square feet unit and the historical low is $1,088 per square feet in June 2017 for a 1,636 square feet unit. So if you're asking me, $1,499 per square feet is basically higher on the spectrum, but you'll find that you still have a margin of uh, $18 per square feet from the all-time high. So that's a small margin, but a comfortable entry nonetheless, right? Let's go into the financial calculations to see how you're gonna afford this place. So if you're taking a 75% bank loan at 1.5% interest rate, then you also take a 30-year tenure, you come into a monthly installment of $2,588. So if you just inject your monthly CPF contributions of $1,260, then you're left with a cash component of $1,328. So that's actually a very palatable cash component just for a monthly basis. So you've got a total of 23 rental contracts from March 2020 to March 2021. And the one bedrooms commanded an average of $2,000 monthly rental. And amongst them, there were 12 rental contracts for one bedrooms. So if you factor this into the equation and add it as rental yield, then you can also minus away maintenance fee, which is 306 and property tax, which is 304 and then it will set you into this positive cash flow, which is this figure over here. So the cluster PSF range starts from $1,337 to $1,906, and eMason is packed in an average PSF of $1,382, which ranks fourth from the cluster low as compared to the range high, 
which is Woodley Residences at $1,906 PSF and this only comes online in the year 2022 which is next year. Okay, let's talk about the location. If you're thinking about accessibility, then there are 10 bus stops in a 1km radius just opposite Singapore Power Training Institute. You've got these bus services. You've also got access to Woodley Station and Serangoon Station within 1km. And if you're wondering about where to do your grocers, then there's a fair price extra at Hypernex and cold storage at Serangoon Next all within 1km. So the other thing you might be wondering is if there are good schools all around. And there are 5 schools in a 1km radius. Amongst them, you've got Zhonghua Secondary, Yangzhen Primary, Nanyang JC, San Gabriel Secondary and San Gabriel's Primary, which are the regional top choices in this area. So if this feels like your next home, then smash the like button and give us a call. I'm Nick Tan, Selling Singapore, and we'd be happy to show you the place. I'll see you soon.